How's it everybody? This is Luis back with another video on the channel. One of the main problem that front end developer face is this course issue. So front end developer will basically use the back end API. If you work in a company, most probably it's going to be locked and allowed only for a certain region. So right now you can see I've got this local host 4200. In my Angular application, you can see this is an API call and this is going to be returning an error. Well, it's not really an error. It's telling me that it's not allowed to be able to hit the server from this particular um, region, which is localhost 4200. There's a lot of um, extensions that might help you to, you know, bypass this uh, using Chrome or Edge or Firefox. But for me, it never really worked. So what I've done is I've actually created a package myself. It's an open source package on a GitHub that you can use as well. But let's see how this works. So for example, here's my Angular application and here's the base URL, right? Now, right now, if I refresh the page, the same API that we're gonna go and it's gonna cause this course issue. Now, how do we bypass this? Well, if you open a terminal, and if you just have a node.js install, you can actually use this npx and then you can use this at oasmirza slash bypass course. And after that, you're gonna have to type the target URL. For example, in this case, my API is running on localhost port 3000. So I'll type this 127.0.0. One colon three thousand, and then I'm going to be using a different port. This is going to be a different endpoint or target point for you because you're going to be hitting some somewhere in a cloud or somewhere running, um, and you won't be able to you know use this localhost for the render. So I'm not typing localhost. I could, but I use uh, one to seven. This is basically equal to localhost three thousand, and we can use this three thousand one to run our uh, proxy server. Now our proxy server is running, right? Now instead of directly targeting this local host um, 3000, I'm going to actually target local host 3001. Now if you look at our application, now I refresh, and you can see that this is the same API call, but it is not throwing that course issue anymore, and it's returning the data. So this is actually now going to local host 3001, which is, you know, a proxy server. And you can see in the terminal here, the call came to this proxy server, and then it was, you know, sent to the, the main server, which is running here. And then because it's not coming from a browser, so it wouldn't have that chorus issue as well, because the servers don't have the region. So you can use this package um, to bypass the chorus. All you have to do is just go to this package. I put that uh, link in the description of this video and then just install it in a global in your on your computer. Or you can use this npx and then basically use the base URL and the port for your proxy server. And then from your front end code, like localhost, whatever the port is, you're gonna have to hit this localhost and a port that you define. And this will automatically run your proxy server, which will allow you to bypass all the cores issue. Now this is an open source project available in a GitHub and I would like to uh, request you to go ahead and then give this a star. And then also if you wanna contribute to this project, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Okay, um, and if you wanna read about what is the cause issue, you know, why um, this actually happens, here's a um, MDN doc that explain what is the cause. Uh, issue and why you have to basically, it's like, it's like a security um, feature in the browser. So I'm not gonna go and explain what is a course because you can read through this. All I'm showing you, you can use this package that I wrote to bypass the course issue. And it's very easy, just go to your terminal, um, use npx and then the package name and then the base URL or target URL and the port number that you would run on local and it will just bypass that. Okay, I hope that helped and if you did, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Cheers.